Greetings and welcome back to Hotel Empire Tycoon. Alright, I'm sorry about a little bit of a delay in this video, but I have been working this place and this place is really slow. I mean really slow. And anybody who's actually doing it probably knows what I'm talking about here. However, I have found a method of making money. It's reminiscent of what I was doing at the beginning of the previous hotel. Hold on a minute here. Ooh, wow, that was amazing. I haven't been getting that, really. Actually, it's been a miracle whenever I get three digits. So getting four digits is just that, a miracle. All right, like I said, this place is really slow. It should have been a tip-off when they only gave us one double room to start with. And then the price list was another one. You know, I just realized that the bar is the only thing that doesn't cost millions except for the double rooms. I mean, look, everything else is millions. So this place is going to be going slow until we can get some real money going. All right, so we're going to talk about that, and I'm going to do some purchases here. I can't afford the bar yet, maybe next time, but I hopefully can get two more double rooms and actually do something with them. I have been turning up the other rooms, and we're going to take a look at that. But first, if you like this video, please give it a like. And if you like what I do on my channel, you might want to subscribe so you don't miss anything when I do post it, right? All right, so let's get to work. All right. What I have I been doing? Well, I think I mentioned this in the previous video, is I was running the social networks campaign. Of course, when you do that, first of all, you have to have 2,000 to do it. And you better leave the game immediately, otherwise it's going to be taking 900 off every hour. But you know what? That's not enough. So let's take a look here. First off, you can see I got the rooms making pretty good money here. They're up to like 600. I've been working on the big ones to make money. You know, the bed and the desk and such like that. We'll take a look at that. And you can see I try to keep them all equal. But you'll notice that I am losing money from the restaurant. Actually, now a lot more than before. The reason for that is because I added an extra person on while I'm playing. That actually did increase my daily balance. But here's the thing. Just before I start the social network advertising and I leave, yeah, I fire both of them. Because the thing about it is, it's not losing money then. So that way, you're going to get more money back because your expenses are not going to be as high. So I am, no way I'm leaving two individuals there. I'm not leaving one of them there until that's actually making a profit. So that's the thing with the businesses. If you are uh, losing money, you're really better off just firing the individuals and rehiring them when you start playing again, right? By the way, are you giving me... No, it's not worth it. If it's over 3000 I'll watch the video, but otherwise, no. See, I could afford the bar right now. The problem is that I couldn't do anything with it, and then the video would be over. So I'm thinking, why don't we work on money generation here, right? So let's get going with some double rums. I'm hoping two isn't going to be a problem. One, two. Um, yeah, and I can't buy a third one. I wouldn't have bought a third one anyway, because I do need to get them going here. All right, so let's see. All right, we're up to 7,700 here. By the way, I do have videos going at the bottom there. You can see I have 32 minutes left of that. Um, what is, what's the cab? Oh, customers. Oh, no, no thanks, no thanks, no thanks, no thanks. Uh, is that the, okay, he didn't come by. All right, I thought for a minute I heard the vehicle. I thought it might have been him. Okay, so where's our new rooms? Okay, these are the rooms. This is what I got. Okay, he's standing right in the middle of the room. You're standing inside my customer. Could you not do that? All right, so you can see I kind of cranked some of these up a lot because they were very good money makers. Uh, if you look at this one, this one's 16,000, but it's going to make 14. The previous ones were better. I mean, that one, they're not as good anymore. I mean, that one's pretty good right there. You know, 6,300, you know, for nearly 10 return. I am not running into a power issue yet. Actually, I have no idea where the power is. But a lot of these were very good. They're not as good now. That one is okay. Eh, that one's still not very good. That one is not bad. It's just that it's very pricey. So what I want to do with these guys is I want to get as much going as possible. So let's try to spend about 30000 in here and uh, make some real money from them, right? Because let's just see here. All right, we'll do that for now. 
Okay, the money is vanishing fast because these are kind of expensive. Uh, that's just a really good deal right there, right? And that one too, 1600 for nearly 20? Yeah, absolutely. Okay, and I'm rapidly running out of that first 30 that I mentioned. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to buy these guys without cranking the... I probably shouldn't have done the bed twice. All right, that's a good one right there. Yeah, I mean, just buying them initially is a good value, right? Because, I mean, look, the initial value purchases are very good, except, of course, for the library. How much was that again? You know, I might have to do that on the next round. Not here, though. By the way, i kind of out. If I can do the almost exact same thing again, it would work. I don't think I'll upgrade the end tables. All right, let's move on to the next run. All right, so I'm definitely going to do that. I'm, yeah, you got to do that, too, right? Because that's good money. I'm just going to upgrade these once because the next one isn't as good. Did I upgrade the other one? I don't remember. No, I didn't. All right. At this point, I'm just going to grab all the ones that are initial ones. Of course, I have to be careful. Do you see? Uh... Oh, that one I'll watch. Because that was good money. All right. So let's get back to what we were doing here. All right. That one. That one. Like I said, the initial purchases are just really good. But I do have to make sure I keep some money. Because at the moment, I'm actually paying a high salary. All right, I have some extra money. So what am I going to do? I think that's a good purchase. Did I do that for the other one? Yeah. All right, now I, I can't spend any more of that until I get more money, right? All right, so how are we doing? Okay, 84, 84, right? All right, so that's uh, not too bad. Yeah, they're, they're pretty close to each other. I'll, I'll even them out. I'll probably try to get them up to the exact same what we have for the other ones. But the thing is, again, it is just really slow. And everything is just really expensive, isn't it? I mean, if I can get the bar in, I'm guessing that the bar is going to be over here. Then at least we'll have something making money. It's just that after that, everything is going to be millions. So I guess it's just going to be a matter of getting the double rooms. And, in, and basically upgrading them. Because otherwise, I don't know. These things are just so expensive. Even the suites are a million and a half. They're starting at a million and a half each. And look at the presidential suite. 18 million for the first one. And if you look at the businesses, I mean, the businesses are basically, you got the uh, 180,000 for the bar. But then it's, the pool is 3.8 million? The next one is, I guess, the arcade at $4 million. That reminds me of something. Oh, there were no missions for this. Okay, I didn't realize that. That just makes it so much harder, doesn't it? Because you're not getting any extra. Wow, that means we're not getting any more of them gems. Okay, that's... That's actually kind of ugly, isn't it? Yeah, that means uh, don't go crazy spending the gems, right? All right, our friend is showing up, and I really do need money from him. Otherwise, I'm just kind of done. Just kind of done, right? Uh, yeah, that's generally what I end up getting. That 1800 was really a rare one. All right, where is he? Get over here. Yeah, 1000 for the restaurant at the moment. Ooh, that's just really ugly. Okay, so what do you got for me? Oh, I will absolutely take that. Okay, so as long as he's going to give me that kind of money, it's good. All right, now what I want to do is I want to see if there's something I can do with that money that I just got. I can afford to spend, what, 3000 of each of them if I can find something good. Uh, that one, that's pretty good. 22 give me 11 that's not as good. That's not as good. The, the Wi-Fi does get good, it's just not good there. Okay, well, I got to do this one. That's just a no-brainer, right? Because that's going to be good money. And then we'll just do this. Okay, is there anything else I can do? Well, I mean, I could just move this one along. Like I said, it does get better. And I can't afford it, right? All right, so we'll do that. And then we'll do that. All right. And believe me, the third one is, like, really good. But I really can't do anything else right now because, uh, yeah, that's just really expensive. 
So basically, you just kind of keep trying to move it along, get the value going. See, it's up to 85.46 right now. So you want to get your idle value going as much as possible. Like I said, though, I'm going to have to kill that restaurant because that is just killing me. And why is housekeeping that expensive? I only have two people there. Did they raise the... Uh... They're, they increased the daily wage of these individuals, didn't they? Because they were never that expensive before. All right. I mean, it used to be they were like 300 each or something, or even less than that. Oh, he's back. Maybe he's got more money for me. So what I'm going to be doing, obviously, when I leave here, is I'm going to fire both of those individuals, the ones in the restaurant. And then, of course, I'm going to get the... Um, the big guy going here, you know, the, uh, what's the name of it? Uh, the social network advertising. So we're in the middle of the morning right now. And what do you got for me? That is not worth it. No, thank you. No, thank you. Nope. Anyway, you know what? There really isn't much I can do from this point on. So I just wanted to do a video so we could catch up. So this is, yeah, this is what I'm going to be doing. You're fired. You're fired. And why did I do that? I did that because, look. It's got a big old zero for the restaurant, and that's expenses I'm not going to be paying. So, I mean, look, the wage cost right now, you know, I'm paying for the person at the front desk and the two housekeepers, and that's about it. Other than that, I'm not paying any expenses, which is, means that profit is going to be where I'm going to be getting all my money from. But I do need to get out of here then. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do this, and I'm going to sit here, and I'm going to say, that's going to be it for now. So... You got to do what you got to do in the beginning to make money. It is kind of hard. It's slow. But you know what? As I said, you fire the individuals from the businesses that are not making money, and then you run the social networks, right? It's going to cost you 2000 to start it, but it's also something also to keep an eye on the clock right there. I'm going to wait till after 4, then I'm going to do it. And there. Anyway, I think that, that is going to be it for now. So thank you very much for your attention. I really appreciate it. And play games because games are fun. See you.